Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL Season 16 Hasu League Round of 32 Group D winners match between Lana is hot in the upper right hand corner as the Red Protoss versus Arson in the bottom left hand corner as the Blue Terran. We have to check the map. Looks like it is on Vermeer. My mouse work might be a little shoddy here. I actually between I think I've mostly been sleeping on my hand in an odd way, but I ended up with a touch of RSI that I'm hoping will dissipate after giving my hand some rest. I have switched back to my usual mouse rather than the vertical mouse I purchased in the interim to try to rest that hand. But what that could result in is, is a little bit of uh, janky camera work per my, in comparison to my usual camera work. Maybe I'll try it with the, uh, it's a little harder with the vertical mouse because it's, I don't know, just the movement is a little bit uh, more challenging. Regardless, should be an exciting match between these two. I actually was expecting Advil to make it out here, so I'm really impressed by Lana's play. By the way, I do want to mention, if you're curious where that, where Lana is hot comes from, it is in reference to Superman, Lana being the high school girlfriend of Superman. No crazy cheese from either player. I will say on Vermeer, being just a general, more macro-oriented map, I might favor Lana a little bit here to advance into the round of 16. Arson's no slouch by any means, but just knowing that it is more of a standard map where that third, and especially cross spawns, where if Lana plays more macro-oriented style, I could see strong, and especially what we saw from the previous match, if, if we see a more macro-oriented style out of Lana at cross position, quick three base play, Distance spawn harder to push. I could see a lot of success. Refinery being constructed. Barracks alongside. Looks like it is not going to be a flat barracks into command center build for Arson. Initial probe scout making its way bottom right hand corner. Cybernetic score warping in before Zealot for Lana. Let's see if Lana also going to go for an additional pylon. We'll see if we're going to have Zealot constructed at all. I would not be shocked to see a complete skip into Dragoon. Three SCV and gas right this moment. The SCV making its way bottom right. So both players, as expected, going to get last scout. And it looks like, in fact, yes, the initial zealot is going to be bypassed. Save a little bit of supply right there. Initial factory down, SCV off the gas. Now the question is, is are we going to see stereotypical vulture build? Or machine shop into command center, first marine out. Second Marine in construction, not able to stop that probe, but able to get some initial damage. However, the probe saw everything it wanted to, popped in, saw the factory, might have even got, I'm not sure if it could see the gas line from there, but wants to preserve its own life. SCV making its way up, is going to see Lana really line these pylons up. Sometimes you'll see Protoss hide these pylons to the corner, but making sure that Arson knows that it is straight up play. Dragoon spawning right as that SCV, that, that would be freaky if I was an SCV. But Lana going to ignore that initial scouting of SCV, potentially deal with it with the second Dragoon, move out towards the front, potentially to engage this initial Vulture and maybe get some bonus damage off on that. Three Marines do beat a Dragoon and three Marines and a Vulture certainly beat a Dragoon, however. So could be some trouble. Probe crossing that SCV. Arson has that natural expansion in construction and is going to be safe with everything that's there, Nexus being plopped down. The SCV is not going to get stopped, should be able to scout it. Attempted blockade, Dragoon at the natural of Arson. A probe making its way down as well. But now, Lana, yeah, being caught a little bit off guard. You can see he was dealing with that SCV. And so the Dragoon just on attack command and now realizes. So SCV was taken care of, but now realizing that that Dragoon needs to be pulled out just a sliver of health left, trying to get some free shots as best it can. Second Dragoon making its way out. Range just now finishing. The probe, however, just chilling here in the background. I assume it's not going to survive for long. No, the Vulture doesn't care. Vulture continuing to wander out, ignores the probe on the front. So the probe, is it going... I mean, what are we going to see out of this? This has me curious now. If that's, I assume that's just a mistake. And we do see Lana going for quick three-base play. Vulture checking 
outside of the map. The probe absorbing a little bit of damage. Three Marines are in the bunker. No additional Marines being constructed. We do see the mine research, however. And I do like the idea of this. Just drop a little bit of a pylon wall. Very fast third nexus. Third nexus before the second gateway is even complete. I like that aggressive play from Lana. Economic aggression. The Vulture trying to scoot out. This is critical. Whether this vul If this Vulture finds that 12 o'clock base, it could be huge. Probe still cycling out to the corner. I'm wondering if this is also going to be Proxy Robo, something along those lines. Natural expansion. Vulture harassing. Look, ooh, yeah, Lana able to pull it back before it. Nope, just kidding. Oh, got the second shot. So there was initial shot. Now range working on that bunker. First siege tank out. No siege tech. Second factory being constructed. But that tank taking some free shots at that Dragoon, backing off. But right now, with that second pylon down, this is going to be a huge moment. Vulture managed to get one kill, it looks like, I assume. That's the, yeah, it's the same Vulture from earlier. A okay, they're, they're the probe starting to macro. But Lana having a fantastic opening game. Three gateways constructed. We do see an engineering bay going up to respect Dark Templar. Reaver drops. Two factories. Three Dragoons now at the natural as well. And just three mines on defense. So Arson is, let's, honestly, I feel like Arson's best bet here is to cycle up to five factories very, very rapidly. But he doesn't even know that he, how quickly this third base went up for Lana. Great play. This hero vulture has been out for a considerable amount of time. And fortunately, it looks like the Dragoons on their natural walking path aren't going to come across. And also, unfortunately, this vulture is at a presumed third, loca third base location that isn't the actual third base location. And I don't know that it's gonna be in time to intercept. Yeah, not going to intercept the probes in transition. It looks like the mine not gonna spot them as well. So Arson's still in the dark. No Academy as of yet. Opting for turret coverage before Academy. It got two Goliaths being constructed potentially to deal with Reaver pressure. Citadel of Dune plopping down. Now Lana, the sky's the limit, can drop nine gateways fairly rapidly could go for three base Arbiter Tech and probably still hit that timing. Could go for shuttle play and still be okay. Pylon being dropped at exterior bases to delay that third as well. Zealot walking out. Still with the path they're taking. A little bit of a misplay from Arson with the, the mine location. That might be a larger factor down the line. And I'm almost wondering if Lana's gonna play ultra, ultra greedy here and go for additional bases in the bottom right hand corner feeling like map control is secure and that arson is going to play for three three base play which it does look like arson is in fact doing plus one weapons working for a smidge we do see a third factory being planted but we don't see any this is a very low siege tank count for this stage of the map comsat being dropped let's see if i'm able to oops just comsatting the main getting a look seeing a gateway flood but really that gateway flood could be for a timing attack or could be like i, I don't know if that's going to be sufficient information to recognize that it's actually three base rather than just two and lana can play gateway man here should that be the deciding option siege tanks hanging out on the high ground i'm really concerned actually by this very very low siege tank count vulture speed being upgraded but off just the three factories and a good amount of Dragoon, that Dragoon count growing, plus the speed zealots. Lana in a good location. Command center being built to maybe meander out to the third, but here's the thing. Even to grab that third, Arson's going to need to move out with a sufficient amount of siege tanks. And Lana, with all of this gateway production behind it, that can be sustained even while grabbing the bases in the bottom right can stymie that third just with the troops that are on the ground nearby and go for a flood so arson in a lot of trouble right here supplies starting to differentiate lana pretty solid probe lead i'm looking for that probe lead to grow up to that 70 count to be in that late game position but even at the lower probe count across three bases with that saturation that means that mining is just more efficient is what it comes down to so even with the scv count being somewhat close Two bases versus three makes a huge difference. 15 supply gap now. Some photons, also, photon cannons also warped in that bottom right hand location to provide some additional padded defense. Lana could expand top right. That might be a little bit greedy. Vulture still hanging out there at the corner. I think the mine finally I'm looking to see if... Yeah, looks like a single zealot did hit a mine. Siege tanks 
getting some free shots off the Dragoons on that corner. Single Vulture sneaking across. More Comsats being dropped from Arson. Checking that bottom right to make sure that hasn't been taken. Fortunately, that territory has been claimed, but no spot of a base there yet. Command Center waiting. Two additional factories being placed, but this is only six, seven siege tanks. A, you got a slew of zealots and more reinforcements coming across the way. I think that Vulture discovered that 12 o'clock base. Probes have been spotted transferring bottom right, but again, Arson in no position to make movements. Arson trying to cover that bottom right hand corner to make the inevitable walkout to the third base more viable. Tacking on additional factories, potentially recognizing the situation. A lot of vultures being constructed. He does have plus one weapons, plus two weapons, plus two armor, or plus one armor, I should say, being constructed. Now, this is going to be the golden moment. 40 supply lead for Lana. A lot of the troops aren't at the forward position. Mine's being cleared, but this is critical. If Arson can cap this third, still might have a shot if he can shell up and make his way towards the late game. However, if Lana is able to stomp on it, wow, High Templar in position as well. I believe Psy Storm's actually also researched. Basically, if Lana jumps on this, that'll be game. So, let's check it. Seven siege tanks, three on the ridge. In range, hitting initial Dragoons. It looks like they're mostly on hold position. They're now backing out. The Zealot's starting to shift forward. And now a full engage as mines are being planted. Immense amounts of zealots streaming from the right. It looks like they are engaging the vultures initially, not on top of the, the siege tanks, but the goons from the north getting right on top of the siege tanks. Also, their side storm for the high ground looks like it's being expended on the low ground. And now Lana wiping out that ground attack force can just back up with a now 40 supply lead and the three siege tanks are just left Wondering what happened. Dragoon wandering out, just wanted glory and ended up dying for it. Vultures trying to sneak their way out. Very nicely able to pick off that High Templar. The Zealots spending their lives. So at least a few Vultures are able to sneak out. I don't know that they're going to have a lot to do out here on the map, aside from maybe sneak some High Templar kills. They are able to drop some mines, do a little bit of frustration to the reinforcements. Arson regrouping. Lana having a little bit of trouble macroing has a thousand resources in the bank as long as lana keeps up with the macro should be an easy win especially with that delayed because here's the thing even with that delayed base we still have this pylon that needs to be cleared arson actually doing it those mines from these vultures creating a lot of harassment more engagement on the front lana backing off because there's not additional troops quite on the low ground zealot sneaking in Going to absorb a handful of mines, but the Dragoon's going to back out for Lana otherwise. A scout out here. Wow, what a statement. Arbiter also being constructed. Recall being researched. Bottom right hand base is up. So we got four base Protoss versus what is at the moment two base, soon to be three base Terran. And this third base is coming at great delay. The Vultures really have nowhere to go. Again, they do have plus two weapons at the very least. So the upgrade, the upgrade tree there is in Arson's favor. However, I don't know how long that is going to last, and I just don't feel like it's much of a factor as long as Lana, again, keeps up with that macro. Bottom right-hand base being tacked. Looks like there's also a probe to go ahead and take everything in the upper right-hand corner. This vulture still hanging out. The scout wandering in does, in fact, engage Goliath, so the meme attack not quite paying off there. Plus one armor research, interestingly enough. Plus two armor being upgraded, potentially to be a little bit of a buffer for those High Templar versus those Vultures. Well, they're an amulet to allow them to have a little bit more energy in the field, occupying that southern spoke. Arson is able to get that additional base, so he will be able to make his way towards 200, but I have a feeling he's going to be at the 160 mark when Lana is hitting the 200 mark, and there's going to be potential recalls in the bucket for Lana to toss out. And it looks like Lana, even thinking about engaging ahead of this, Zealot's able to engage from the north, the High Templar getting side storm all over the Siege Tank Ridge. Completely wiping them out. The High Templar being picked off otherwise. Now it's just Dragoons. Lana might want to back off from here. Yeah, and is opting to back off. And reposition, still taking a few latent shots from the Siege Tanks. But able to keep that attack force low. Still maintaining 
that 30 supply lead. More units again move into that southern spoke. So Lana, Lana in a very firm position has that bottom right hand base up, not yet saturated. Both players' mains starting to get a little bit thin, but this is going to hurt Arson a lot more than it's going to hurt Lana. And Lana can just, yeah, create this soft contain, make sure Arson can't break out and play from there. Arson needs some sort of miracle engagements. Is dropping that third machine shop to fill in the siege tank count a little bit more rapidly. I like that Lana's also placing these pylons and already has the previous pylons at additional locations to just slow down those command centers a little bit more. I do feel like that's worth the 100 investment, particularly considering the economic gains here. Southern Spoke being evacuated, the Arbiter repositioning to the rest of that army. More High Templar grouping up. Some Psy Storms in place. Arson think recognizes he's economically behind so gonna go ahead and clear out the southern pylon at the six o'clock location drops the missile turrets an arbiter moving up getting a stasis on that corner but that's more of a i think that's more of a threat than anything lana is gonna try to make movements towards the right saying okay i don't think you can defend the six o'clock location and walking um oh, into a minefield those mines doing an immense amount of work obliterating a lot of lana's army before it's even able to engage no observers in that grouping. I think there was hope that the, either the mines weren't there or the zealots were going to clear it before it was much of a factor. And that was the first misstep I think we've seen in this match from Lana. Two cannons also at the 9 o'clock location, by the way. Here's some attacking happening somewhere. I'm not sure what it was. Or it's on location. I'm wondering if this is opening up some base. High Templar, very exposed to these vultures. One picked off a... Side storm being plopped. The vulture scrambling around it. That's a lot of gas to lose. So Arson actually finding ways to sneak back into this carefully. Level three weapons now just coming online. And Lana doesn't have much of an attack force to stop Arson engagement here. So what Arson could do, ooh, some nice side storms there. Severe lack of observers though to do mine clearage and also Lana. Yeah, having to filter in this army piecemeal. Arson engaging here and there and actually getting some bonus the arbiter is growing some energy there at the nine o'clock location we'll try to keep an eye for recall the mines have been critical for arson to keep him in this match and also these vulture forays without dragoon support really wiping out a lot of that side storm support so the lack of shuttles the lack of dragoons there on forward location is expended a lot of gas for free so arson doing some critical things actually to stay viable in this match six o'clock locations up a lot of turrets to prevent a recall from the right hand side unfortunately the recall might be at the third and this would be very difficult for arson to reinforce and he's quite a bit spread out most of the reinforcements here at this spoke so this could be a game ending recall either at the hopefully it doesn't go to the main we do have the four turrets along that location either it threads the needle comes across here Hits the soft factory line. Wondering if Lana's thinking about taking the nine o'clock or just a recall here at this three o'clock location or at the uh, third of Arson. Could be game ending. Lana approaching the 200 supply mark. Level two armor, level one shield, level one weapons. So pushing some of the upgrade. There's the recall, missed it in the main. A probe alongside, I guess we're gonna see some construction in enemy territory. Some Psy Storm which is going to be fantastic in here because you can see how these troops are grouping up. The siege tanks eating lightning in the face. Getting picked off pretty rapidly, however, by the reinforcements. Just supply depots getting wiped out at the moment, but more siege tanks getting cleared. So a lot of supply drop. Let's see if there's a counterattack at the 6 o'clock as it's just mine coverage and some siege tanks a little bit out of position to defend otherwise. Lana holding. One more Psy Storm, it looks like, in the base. Flea Battle Probe. That's going to be expended. It looks like the counterattack being stay waved off. The Zelts approaching first. Go ahead and clear some mines. Still two along that path, but that six o'clock still somewhat exposed. Looks like a Vulture was able to get top left to deny those bases. Bottom right is saturating. Main is mined out now for both players, so it is effectively two base. Actually, uh, very rapidly mined at the 12 o'clock. Natural expansion still up, so it's two base versus two base, actually. 
at this stage. Solana does need to think about grabbing additional territory. Dragoon moving top left to go ahead and wipe things out. Up there, Arbiter now out in the field. Level three weapons, level two armor, the scary army. I'm not sure I like... Ooh, yeah, just a lot of free damage. These mines have been critical for Arson. They have just really shredded a lot of Lana's army. Dragoon's walking headlong into it. And yeah, a lot of that army being softened up and or eliminated. Decent stasis to the right. Defense makes it to the front. Huge side storm over the vulture line. Another good follow-up side storm from Lana across that six o'clock. Gonna back up, however. Blanketing some side storm on retreat. Still a 20 supply lead for Lana overall. Probes gathering up top left-hand corner to go ahead and grab that. But Arson continues to stay in the match and is making movements towards the 200 supply mark. Level three weapons mech army is always terrifying, especially when you run low on Arbiter or Psystorm support. Bottom right hand base not being saturated, surprisingly. It looks like the probe's gonna make their way to top left instead. Nine o'clock base has not yet been claimed either. So now Lana in a situation. Let's see if Lana can maintain Arson's isolation to three bases. Probe making its way, and the Vulture that was there early in the match able to score an additional kill. A little bit of an engagement as Arson starting to march up towards that 9 o'clock. An okay stasis. Let's see the follow-up Psy Storms, though. Unfortunately, Psy Storming some Psy Crystal and the Dragoons just getting obliterated as that those three machine shops producing a lot of siege tanks. Arson getting the supply lead for what feels like the first time in this match and breaking the game wide open. The Vultures sweeping forward. See if mine coverage gets in between. We do see more High Templar filtering the way across to maybe side storm the army. The Vultures eating a lot of side storm. The siege tanks bunched up walking through storm. Looks like this army going to try to retreat to that spoke. I think Lana has enough to get on top of this. Plus, the side storms have been fantastic. Clearing out a lot of that siege tank. Lana once again re regains that supply lead and denies additional resources to Arson. However, problem for Lana... Well, okay, now that bottom right-hand base looks a little bit better saturated. That bottom right-hand corner has been denied for quite some time. Arson continuing to try to sneak out is low on resources. Every unit counts at this stage. Lana, in theory, if Lana can cap that top left, will be an okay situation. It looks like High Templar are being wiped out on the forward field. The Vultures have been fantastic. Clearing the High Templar uh, continuously in this match. Finally, an additional Nexus being grabbed top left. I think Lana has a solid enough position to even grab that low ground Nexus. A little bit low on troops. The raw troop count right this second. However, Arson not in a great position to counter push as well. A couple idle SCVs out on the field on top of it. This hero vulture, I wonder if he's going to survive the entire match. Plus three what armor, by the way, just completing a missile turret being built in the one location it can be constructed. Probes distance mining top left for Lana. Actually out of resources right here. Which is a testament to, I think, more the Vulture Mines and the Vultures hunting down those High Templar. Dragoon tempting fate from that high ground spoke. This hasn't resulted in Arson being able to capitalize on any additional territory. And as soon as this base gets saturated top left, should be a big swing back in Lana's favor once again. But right this second, it looks like, yeah, Arson's just out traded because three bases are basically empty. We got two bases mining. The three the three clock base needs to be warped in and sealed for Lana. And not a lot of resources in the bank. Arson with that delay in between. Once again able to take this supply lead. And usually when the supply is even, that means Terran is ahead. Although this has been essentially off two bases entirely. for the long reaches of this match. Arbiter with full energy wandering out, looking for a good recall opportunity. 
there is no opportunity for recall across the southern edge and let's see if it turns around as soon as it sees or if it just tries to go for the dive i would be shocked if recall makes it it still makes it wow skeleton crew of an attack force but enough to get some size storm down at the six o'clock i am going to say i did not expect that arbiter to survive across that window because this is an, an immense amount of turrets that's got to be frustrating for arson regardless that was just an expenditure of troops on lana's side the tanks starting to get mobile let's see if it's a roll up to the nine o'clock location lana down on supply still it just feels like these minerals are bugged or something they just seem to be providing more for arson because lana again maybe it's also because of how early these bases were grabbed and how well they were saturated lana's arma army regrouping on that six o'clock spoke dragoon spots that army making its way top left and the problem for lana is lana does need to defend these top left holdings based on the resource expenditure up to this stage Arbiter swinging across and doesn't have quite enough for a stasis, but that is going to guide the High Templar in to get some good side storm. This is side storm bait back here. Huge side storms over that siege tank line, but not a lot of zealots to support underneath as well. This will buy some time that for that top left-hand corner. And the Dragoons being completely wiped out. The High Templar also being taken out. The side storms were great, but there just weren't a lot of zealots or raw troops otherwise to follow up arson still has sufficient troops to make his way top left to potentially wipe out those bases take control of them arson actually somehow with a larger bank like is it, are, were these minerals bugged or what because this is off two bases fourth base now constructed has a larger bank 30 supply lead versus lana across five bases although lana now grabbing that three o'clock Arson sieging up, probes scattering. Eating, I think it's the Archolite. Yeah, Archolite cannon fire. Dragoons staging back, unfortunately leading rather than the Zealots. Arbiter now sweeping in as well. The mine's still in the way and just melting those troops. Yeah, the mine coverage has been huge. Big EMP negating a lot of that shield and Lana's army obliterated in a flash level three weapons is nothing to sneeze at going to be able to sidle in now to that upper left hand corner so what looked like through large stages of this game it seemed like a protoss victory was inevitable however arson sealing up on three at least that scv got a kill or sorry that probe got a kill good battle <clears throat> it's pride in that Cannon going to get wiped out top left. That's going to be cleared out. Lana's going to be down now to a base that's basically... Thi How is... Thinned out. Six o'clock location still has more minerals than the natural in bottom right, which is crazy. Still mining there. And at the three o'clock location, there's also the option to grab that inside location as the Nexus collapsing top left. However... This is a big, scary army out for Arson. It does have the supply lead. Lana scattered a bit. Trying to come in from the rear, wipe the siege tanks out. No Arbiter support this time. Good mine clearage. Few troops scattered being cleared to the north. Not the most cohesive attack. Trying to engage the south now. A large minefield there to greet the Dragoons and the Zealots. And without observer coverage, these Dragoons potentially being sent to their death too many siege tanks lana now backing up down to 100 supply 70 supply lead for arson as that pylon being attacked viciously by that scv lana grabbing that base in the upper right arson might want to cap an additional base on top of this but trouble for lana how do you defend that bottom right hand corner or your natural expansion from being capped in or slow down arson's economy at this stage vultures hunting down dragoons in open field emp across those troops 
softening them up further. A second EMP, just for good measure. Defense Matrix on a forward Vulture. Turning it into a superhero. That's got to be the best feeling in the world for a Vulture. And now Arson and a hop, skip, and a jump away from the natural expansion, which will cut off the reinforcements for Lana. Cycling into the Nexus. Whoops. Sorry about that. Cycling into the Nexus before it is even online. Dark Templar trying to get to the forward position. Not able to, though, as plenty of science vessels between point A and point B. And now Lana. Oh, that's unfortunate. Looking so strong in the early stages of this match. Falling to Arson's shell style off three bases. A single zealot wandering top left. Gonna be able to halt that SCV, but the nine o'clock still up and humming. And the rest of the bases, there's nothing between the siege tank lines and the probe lines. Except a few cannons that are being swatted rather rapidly, and I do not think Lana has the economy at this stage to finish things off. Mines again being critical at these late stages. Let's see if the High Templar... Yeah, High Templar getting picked off by the mines as well. Some empty Psy Storms now. The Psy Storms have been pretty fantastic throughout a lot of stages, but it's just the High Templar only seem to be making it into these fights. There's GG. Well played by Arson. Lana will still have opportunities. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.